Looks like President. And here comes in. President Trump. It looks like he's headed to the motorcade right now. It looks like the governor was getting into the same vehicle as the president, or they're discussing it now. Yes, the gov. Um, I see soon right there rounds. Yes, the governor too. Yeah, which um, before they had reported that he wasn't going to, you know, go to the event. So maybe he's changed his mind on that. You saw Governor Dugard as well as First uh, Lady Linda Gu Dugard going in there. Few Secret Service people, and then they, uh, the motorcade is quite a few vehicles long. Uh, as I have been saying, Brady Mallory and Kevin Kiergaard are going to be in one of those. I believe that one's a big bus that they're going into as the only uh, TV station that gets to, local TV station that gets to ride along in that motorcade. And we don't know so the from exact. Here, we don't know the exact. They're going to take a route to the convention center. Yeah, I mean, we don't know the exact route that the motorcade will be taking, but we do have reporters positioned along uh, several areas. Uh, potential routes along Minnesota Avenue, right along West and, and uh, Russell Street. So we'll, we'll see as we as they get closer to the convention center. I know a few parents were a little concerned about this, wondering picking up their child after school would the motorcade be blocking off their route. So yeah, the school we'll district sent out an email and phone calls to parents, letting them know that if there were any delays of 20 minutes or more, that they would be notified mm -hmm. because of the motorcade. You see that bus right there? That's uh, where uh, our team, our Kello team, is in right now. As we watch the motorcade leave the Air National Guard, we're monitoring the president's progress through town. And you just heard from Kello Land's Casey Wannenberg. Perry Groton and Sarah McDonald are standing by at the convention center where the president will be making a speech in about an hour and a half. And one picture that is missing from this map is Brady Mallory. That is because he is actually riding in the motorcade, as Casey mentioned, with the president and will soon be doing a one on one interview with President Trump. Yeah, we look forward to that. Let's go live now to Kello Land's Dan Santella, who is waiting along the route to the convention center. Dan, what are you seeing? Well, I'm here at Russell and West Avenue, just north east of the Sioux Falls Convention Center. You can see no traffic right now, right down uh, wet Russell Street here as we anticipate the president. As you just heard from Casey Wannenberg, he's leaving the airport en route now. Just a few moments away, we're expecting. So we have Sioux Falls Police on hand. We have the South Dakota Highway Patrol and different people gathered. Some supporters, you see a Make America Great Again hat, and also some apparent protesters as well. One sign said liar. But different people gathered here, a lot of people with their phones out. Even at the hotel across the street, we saw some people on the roof trying to get their best view of the 45th president here in South Dakota for the first time since taking the oath of office. I'm going to estimate that there's maybe a couple hundred people here. That's a ballpark. Uh, no real protesters in this area right now, it appears. A little closer to the convention center as you turn the corner, or here and around, you see some apparent protesters. So Sioux Falls Police motorcycles, you can see, just going right by here. It's been a few moments since we had any uh, private traffic going by. Shouldn't be long now. Well, it certainly is a big deal anytime president. the president visits your hometown or your state uh, here in South Dakota. Obviously, it's his first visit to South Dakota since being elected. But no matter what political party you are affiliated with, it's it's still a big deal. He is the president of the United States. Right. It looks like we have and we have a makeshift flagpole that went up, the South Dakota flag flying underneath the stars and bars. Now we look look like here we have the president arriving. A couple motorcycles leading rather four motorcycles lights flashing ahead so the president would have left south of the sioux falls regional airport take gone to minnesota avenue briefly and then a right onto russell street a lot of people with their phones out taking in the sights and sounds as i was saying a moment ago maybe a couple hundred people here hmm. they really started to pick up crowds arriving people parking Maybe even the last hour or so. You have orange police barricades lying in the streets up ahead. And along this route, and as I look off into the distance, and the, the intersection you see right now is Minnesota and Russell. You're seeing some flashing lights. Karen, the president, 
from Air Force One, where he just landed, as you just heard from Casey Wannenberg. He's on his way to a private fundraising event with gubernatorial candidate Christy Nome. After he passes by momentarily here, he will be taking photos at that closed reception. And here we are, the President of the United States in his motorcade with other leaders, political leaders in South Dakota, coming on by on Russell Street. Flashing lights. Weather's definitely cooperating with us today. Not going too fast, the motorcade, but steadily just north of the Sioux Falls, northeast of the Sioux Falls Convention Center, going right by. One thing that's catching my attention right now, it's pretty quiet out here. Not a lot of people talking. There you see the flags, the presidential seal going by. The 45th President of the United States heading to a private fundraiser with gubernatorial candidate Christy Nome. He just turned onto West Avenue, heading into the Sioux Falls Convention Center. We're really excited that Kel Land's Brady Mallory and Kevin Kiergaard, our chief photographer, will be doing an exclusive interview with the president, maybe about an hour or so, maybe a little less. You can see that tonight. So we've brought you live coverage from the airport with Casey, me along the way. We're going to send it over now to Kel Land's Perry Groton, who is at the Sioux Falls Convention Center. All right, thank you very much, Dan. Yes, we are at the uh, Sioux Falls Convention Center where we see some uh, vehicles starting to come in from the east side. Right now, we are uh, positioned on the west side of the uh, Sioux Falls Convention Center, Denny Sanford Premier Center. Here comes the uh, motorcade as it's driving toward. All right, apparently we had a little bit of a technical glitch with our live coverage there as the president uh, is pulling into the Sioux Falls Convention Center. Well, he'll be holding a rally. Uh, we have do we back. Ha okay, there we, we have Perry again. <laughs> there as it's turning the corner and heading toward the uh, the back of the uh, Sioux Falls Convention Center. Right now there's a crowd, a fairly small crowd of both uh, Trump supporters and Trump po protesters on hand as we're continuing to follow this motorcade as it makes its, winds its way around the back side of the Sioux Falls Convention Center in anticipation of uh, President Trump's appearance here at this uh, fundraiser for uh, Christy Noam. Uh, we saw the president earlier uh, speaking in Fargo on behalf of the Republican uh, Senate candidate there. He talked about uh, his job creation as president and also mentioned, uh, talked about the uh, Dakota Access Pipeline and the XL Energy Pipeline uh, issues that uh, he says he supported and, of course, issues that are important uh, to South Dakota as well concerning uh, our Native American population. But we just saw the last of the motorcade uh, pull through here. Now it's just a matter of uh, the crowd uh, that's uh, the, the invitation-only crowd that's paid uh, some of them hundreds of dollars to, to see the president. It's just a matter of time before uh, the president takes the stage and addresses the crowd here at the Sioux Falls Convention Center on behalf of Republican Christy Noam. Now, we got out here earlier this uh, morning, uh, late morning. There was already a line standing in front of the uh, convention center waiting to get in. Uh, we talked with some people from uh, Sisseton who are here. They were excited to see the president. We ran into a couple uh, from Appleton, Minnesota, so it's not just all South Dakotans here uh, to talk about uh, the, the, the governor's race. And uh, you'll notice here there's a, quite a heavy law enforcement presence as well here in front of the uh, convention center. Those are mostly uh, South Dakota Highway Patrol uh, troopers positioned about 100 feet apart uh, working security here at the uh, convention center and we should be just minutes away now from uh, President Trump taking the stage and that fundraiser for uh, Christy Noem. So we'll toss it back to you in the studio. Perry.